Hey guys, how are you all doing? Guys, please come and listen to this. A lot is happening on the socials. So if you're a considerant, this might interest you to know that allegedly people, in fact, bloggers, XBB Niger housemates, handlers, all sorts of people that call themselves VVIPs that, you know, contributed money for Kosi's win. Allegedly, they are dragging Kosi that Kosi is owing them. Kosi is owing the handler. Kosi is owing the blogs. Kosi is owing some XBB Niger housemate. Kosi is owing a lot of people that shout out to her that, you know, supported her, this, that, and that. And this will bring us to the gist of today. What's up? What is going on? Because to the best of my knowledge like all these people dragging Kosi calling Kosi out that Kosi is owing them the handler is saying Kosi is owing her the blogs XBB Niger housemate machineries that voted all this and that Kosi is owing even more than what she won in the house how can Kosi sign that kind of contract to me I think that those blogs those handlers, it's not even them that made Kosi win. I don't know, but to me, Kosi brought pure entertainment. She brought the drama. She brought the gist. She brought the highlight by herself. She worked her ass off in that house to make sure she's in people's eyes, faces, lips, and all that. And that is what um, brought her the win. Not even what they are posting on social media or what. Because to the best of my knowledge, she was even dragged like she was shamed she was dragged on the socials so guys please note that some particular set of people that is always the loudest each season farming vvip or more there is because there is money there that like there is money there all these people you know submitting accounts they are you know opening groups being the admins of those groups people are contributing their hard earned money to them so that that they will give to their faith there is no sure way of you know calculating how much those people realize from all this contribution from different countries because you know they are also cashing out in their own way so people right now are also falling moguls i've said in my last two videos that please kosi and tabank said they are not together tabank said that he has not even heard from Kosi ever since. So why are Kobank shippers still contributing money to certain accounts so that they will gift their ship? Like, it is really unbelievable. Why are you people wasting money? Like, anyway, I'm not going to tell you how you're going to, you know, spend your money and all that. But when you see that this thing has come, I'm not saying all of them has come, but some accounts, some groups, you know, they are just forming, releasing account number, you're paying in money after paying your hard-earned money for those that have touch mind for those admin that have touch mind they will buy a few gifts do money bouquet with free money buy flower this and that at the end of the day they will say oh the whole money is exhausted how are you sure that they exhausted the whole money that you contributed or all the fans contributed in that gift anyway moving forward so coming back to Kosi and the winning and the blocks and the ex-housemates and owing apparently they say that she is owing her management 15 million 15 million oh my goodness and until she pays that money she cannot get back her page and i'm saying so since kosi get out of the house since she's outside the house she is not in control of her page yet does that mean it's still the manager that is still managing the pages or what so apparently also they paid uti they paid other machineries to support her they also say they paid um nigerian blogs this person is this um all this complaint is coming from the manager the person that managed her page she said she paid bloggers she paid this she paid the other person that in fact she single-handedly managed kosi's page she raised money she paid many people in agreement in the contract that after the whole thing if kosi wins she is going to refund her so that she can pay all the people that she contracted to give a shout out to trend kosi to do this and do that and now they are saying that kosi 
has not paid yet. They are even broke shaming Kosi that Kosi is broke now that she doesn't even have money to do her nails. And um, judging from the recent picture she posted yesterday that she did not even do her her nails and all that. Oh more Fred is the madu. He's a he's a late veteran actor, and I can never do anything that will spoil my father's name. I can never. In the entertainment industry, I've been in the entertainment for years now. So when I'm doing something, I do everything with open hands. You guys know very well how much vote costs. How much vote costs. Not unknown how many millions of votes I was pumping for this girl every week. I will be checking the results. Sometimes they'll come and tell me, Kosi is the number two. I say, like, like, she can never be number two. Pumping another one again. So cut the long story short. If you see, I was in the hospital bed handling this girl's page. I was hospitalized. I didn't get myself for almost three weeks. Thank you very much. My sister is not with me. Oh, she's in South Africa. I'm in Nigeria. I was. Did I we... was in hospital bed. Oh, Please, God. Kosi Reigns. God will judge all of you. How I suffer to make sure that Kosi Reigns. Oh, no, 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 no. No, God will no, judge right. everybody. God will judge you. God, God will judge you people. God I know how I suffered. God will judge I know how I suffered. Oh God. We all you suffered. people come and tell me I should do I should do this thing. No problem. Your gift money. Liberia sent him. Oh God. I'm in South Africa. They are threatening me. Yanni saw this bloody lesbian is threatening me. It's how you people come here and lie with confidence for me. Hey. I suffered for this girl, Kosi. You all know that people don't like Kosi. It was because of me. A lot of people started loving her from my post, no, please, from my no, name. No, please. I love her. Please, please, please let her speak. speak. Please let her speak. You people have been speaking all for like how many hour? Like one hour before she got here. You people have accused her. Let her defend herself. Please, after she finishes, you guys can come back and come and be doing whatever you want to do. Please unmute your mic, Odogu, and continue. You can unmute your mic now, Queen. Okay, so now, can you hear me, Big Love? That is Odogu Queen Diva the odogo handler that handled Kosi's page so um she is saying that they are accusing her of eating money whereas Kosi is um owing her her management is owing her they have not paid her the money that she spent paid this person and this person but from what she is saying on that life on that space um do you think what do you think about it do you think that she is correct by saying that it's because of her that many people started to love kosi here in nigeria even worldwide because she's managing the page do you think so because me i think most people love kosi because of the entertainment and because of the drama that she brought to the show she also said that they will come and tell her that kosi is in number two she will say no that she's going to pump in more votes and i'm asking who are these people telling you that kosi is in number two do you think that the production she has a link to the production or the production are leaking the results even before they called it what is happening or do you think that you know you all know that biggie is also cashing out from this vote maybe they will know the handler they will contact the handler see oh this person is not doing well pumping more votes and pumping in more votes means more money for the production for big brother anyway guys that is all you have heard it from odogu queen diva but right now what is paining her is not only that they are owing her it's not even the fact that she in her own terms borrowed money she sponsored with her own personal money she paid machineries to vote she paid millions to celebrities to ex bb niger housemates to you know support her and all that that is not even the coco the coco be say they are saying kosi race are saying that kosi will not pay any dime to to Odogu Queen Diva. According to them, they say that it is Kosi's friend that gave Queen to handle her page. Yes, that Kosi never knew Queen. That Kosi did not sign any agreement or contract to Queen to pay her as a handler, neither to pay her as anything. That Kosi don't know 
queen. That is when Kosi came outside the house that people are telling her about the person that is handling the page. What do you think about this? Do you think that Kosi had to pay queen because she handled the page? Or do you think that Kosi have a case in the sense that Kosi might say that she doesn't know who Queen is. She didn't give Queen any authority or authorization to handle her page for her while she is in the house. And she did not sign any contract, any agreement with the same handler. Oh my guys, they are doing this thing back and forth. It is hot. There is fire on the mountain. Like many things are coming out, and people that are um, opposing Kosi are using this opportunity to broke shame her, saying she is broke already. She's owing more than she won. They are saying that oh she she's broke. She doesn't even have money to make her nails or apply proper makeup or make uh, you know wear um a hundred percent human hair and all that. They are really broke shaming her and others are saying that Kosi don't have to pay that much because if you see all these millions they are calling it's even more than Kosi won actually truthfully honestly it is more than what Kosi won but Kosi will not even be a fool to sign that kind of agreement or even get herself into that kind of mess because we all know that Kosi is smart but guys, let's have fun down the comment section. Let me know your points, your opinion, your views about this. Do you think that this said handler have a point or have a case in case she goes to court? She drags Kosi to court. Do you think that Kosi have a case? Because as they said, Kosi never knew this handler. She just knew her when she came outside the house she didn't sign any agreement or contract with her and so on do you think that this girl this said um lady this said handler deserve a compensation a kind of let's talk about all this down the comment section okay guys please i keep saying this if you're a fan of gist with fido if you're a fan of fido and you're watching this i keep saying it do not pay any money to all these accounts some of them are scams accounts like sometimes your money doesn't even get to your faith they don't even use the whole money at the end of the day <laughs> the worst is shippers money at the end of the day this your ship's come outside the house and they scatter they end up not gifting them they end up not even refunding all the individuals that um contributed to that um account or contributed to that said project all this project i'm seeing on twitter projects this project that project that people are contributing there are many bank accounts please guys be wise out there and also please if there is a way this um aspiring uh, um BB Niger housemate will just bring out one person or one group before they get into the house, it will even be better. It will save us the headache and the long talk because you people will say it's not possible. It's possible because a housemate will be in the house and there are videos of of him or her begging for votes so they have made that video while they were outside before getting in the, into the house so if there is a way they will open one group just keep to one group pay country otherwise more confusion and stealing of money will happen let countries organize themselves and have one group pay country that way all admin can communicate effectively and you know everything will be in order there will be no scam there will be no stealing because just imagine in ghana alone you'll be having more than 10 whatsapp group for ghana alone for one faith you go on facebook there are more than five groups for one faith in only one country if you go on telegram there are different groups and all these different group have different account number that are scamming people that are telling people to contribute to this project contribute to so 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 faith they are planning this they are planning that at the end of the day they will end up not gifting or not even making use of all the money anyway no time for long talk or i don't talk tired but let's continue the talking down the comment section Thank you for your love and support for Fidel. I really, truly appreciate you all. Love you guys.